What is going on guys? Welcome to your 33rd chemistry tutorial and in this lesson we're going to be talking about decomposition reactions. Now in the last tutorial we just talked about regular composition reactions and that was basically taking two or more things and combining them into one. So this is of course just the opposite. What we're doing is we're starting with one thing and we break it up into two or more elements, molecules, things, whatever you want to call them. So let's go ahead and take a look at a simple decomposition reaction involving, let's say we have two molecules of water. So 2H2O. What we can do is we can break this up into two H2 molecules and also some sweet, sweet oxygen, just like that. So if we go ahead and balance this, I'll go ahead and it's always good to balance your reactions, make sure you didn't mess up, aka I'm going to make sure I didn't mess up right now. In one molecule of water we have two hydrogens and since we have two of them we have four hydrogens, so I just heard H equals four. In the last tutorial I did this and that may be kind of confusing because you think four hydrogens are bonded together, so I guess I'll go ahead and write it like this from now on. And also in a molecule of water we have one oxygen, so if we have two molecules of water we have two oxygens. Now that's what we started with and we need to make sure we ended up with the same amount of stuff that we started with. So if we go ahead and look at this, in H2, two oxygens, I mean excuse me, two hydrogens, so we have four hydrogens since we have two of them. And also this one's simple, we have two oxygens just like that. Simple enough. So now let's go ahead and look at another example before I give you guys your first assignment. Actually I think I gave you guys an assignment before. But let's go ahead and take things up a notch and uh, take a look at something called calcium carbonate. Now the formula, oh that is uh, quite embarrassing. The formula for calcium carbonate is CaCO3. And I know, I, uh, I don't know, never mind, I was just rambling. But anyways, what you do is you take this calcium carbonate and split it up and you end up with Ca oxygen plus carbon dioxide, which is CO2. Now let's go ahead and balance this bad boy, and again, remember, this is a decomposition reaction. You start with one thing, and you break it up into two or more things, just like that. So that's basically what I'm telling you guys how to do. So let's go ahead and balance this one more time, and you guys are going to want to pay attention because you guys have some homework to do coming up, and you're going to need to balance some reactions. So we have one calcium we have one carbon and we have three oxygens now let's go ahead and just cancel all this out uh, calcium we have one so let's go ahead and cancel that out for carbon we have one here's one and for oxygen we need to find three here's two and here's another one three and as long as you canceled everything's out everything's out and nothing is left over then we're good to go so here is your homework assignment for the evening what you're going to do is you're going to find out how many molecules of oxygen are left in my potassium chlorate. Sounds fun? So we're going to go ahead and, okay, that's getting annoying. We're going to go ahead and start with two molecules of potassium chlorate. Now that's 2K chlorine and O3. So this is the formula for potassium chlorate and we have two molecules of it. So we're going to end up with 2K Cl and also some number of O2. So your job for the evening is to tell me how many molecules of O2. So basically you have to fill in the coefficient of this. So whenever you break apart potassium chlorate you have two potassium and chlorines bonded together and you have some amount of O2. So that's your job to tell me how many molecules of O2 is in this reaction. So the first person to figure out this answer, um, well, you don't really win anything, but I'll tell you what, I will let you donate $10 to my website to the winner, whoever can come up with this answer first. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about single displacement reactions, and then we're going to be talking about double displacement reactions, and it is going to be a blast, let me tell you. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, first person to answer wins.